Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I decided to do something fun and kind of like, I don't know, different. I'm not sure if anyone on YouTube or any other like video platform has done this. So I'm gonna kind of safely assume that I'm the first one to do this. But if there is someone that's done it before I did, then you know, kudos, props to you, credits to you, all that good stuff. So in this video, I'm going to do an entire face using only the Dominique Cosmetics makeup line, all right? So I have literally all her eyeshadow palettes that she ever came out with. So using only that, whatever shades I want in whatever palette, I'm going to take that and make an entire face and, you know, use as much as I can. Some products like, you know, foundation, obviously you have to use an actual foundation product, but um, overall I'm gonna use you know her makeup line so I'm really excited and so here we go so first things first I'm gonna do my brows and I'm taking this elf lash and brow wand and I'm going to just brush my brows out real quick and then taking a brow pencil or a brow not brow pencil a brow brush so I'm gonna take this looks like that and I'm going to, I want a nice brown but dark shade, if that makes sense. And let's go into her newest palette she's created. And it's the shade called, let's see, Coffee Bean. So Coffee Bean would be right there. And I'm going to fill in my brows. Alright, so this brown looks a little bit too light for my liking. I mean, I do like the color, but not for my brows, so I might mix it in with another shade. But for now, this is going good. So I do kind of want to darken up the brows just a little bit, so I'm going to go into her little mini palette. And this is her Dominique Cosmetics, um, like the sweater weather palette. And it's so cute because it's tiny and mini, but all right. So the last shade right here where my thumb is, that's the shade I'm going to use. I'm just going to mix that in. I'm using the same brush and I'm going to mix that in with the first shade I put on. That is such a nice shade of brow color. Yeah, that's really nice. All right, so my brows are done and I'm gonna jump into my eyes. So I'm going to put a little bit of concealer on top of my eyes. Obviously, I can't use the, you know, eyeshadow to do that. So you can put on some concealer or even an eye primer. I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. This is the 16 hour camel concealer and just dab some right on my eyelid. And then just using my little Tati Blendiful. I'm going to just blend that out real quick. Nice and easy. Time for the eye look. So as an overall kind of, let's see, um, what's the word I'm looking for? As an overall, uh, overall wash of color, I should say, I'm gonna go into my Rustic Glam. And in here, there is the shade called free spirit so that is free spirit right there i'm gonna take that and just place that all over my eyelid all the way up to my brow bone it's somewhat acting as like a base setting my concealer and it's gonna help you know with the eyeshadows be placed on smoother and easier all right so easy one two three next step i'm going to add in let's see i don't know what look i want to do exactly so i'm just kind of like you know going back and forth to different palettes and seeing what i want to do okay so i'm gonna take her lemonade palette which is this baby right here and in it it has the shade called sweet tea so that right there is sweet tea we're going to use that as our crease color. So take some sweet tea right on this brush. And I need my mirror. Alright, so holding my mirror. I'm going to place that on the outer corner. And 
I know it might look like I'm being really rough with my eyes, but I promise you I'm not. I'm just, you know, being gentle. So tapping it in the outer corner and then sweeping it back and forth or as we used to call it, the windshield wiper mode, right? So that's what we're doing. Okay, I am loving this color. It's really nice. So diving back into her sweet tea, tapping it in and going back and forth with it. This is like our transition color, you know? All right, so the transition shade looks pretty good to me. Now, let's see. Mm, I'm still thinking of what look I want to do. Okay, so I feel like I want to go into... I keep looking up at the mirror just to see what look I am thinking of. All right, so I think I want a darker shade on the outer corner. So I'm going to use her Celestial Storm palette. This is an amazing palette and in it it has the shade called zero gravity so right there we're gonna take zero gravity pick up a nice brush and this brush is from her Domini cosmetics line so this is if you're curious the crease blur brush so pick up some of that zero gravity and I'm going to pick up my mirror all right, so I'm going to add that just on the very, very outer corner, okay? And then if the shade isn't dark enough for you, you can go ahead and build up. So there's always that option. So outer corner and then boom. All right, so outer corner. And don't worry about the fallouts. We will wipe it off because we don't have any makeup on our face. All right, so outer corner and look at that. Look at that. All right, so I'm just gonna wipe off some of that fallout with a brush. And I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so what did I put on again? Ah, zero gravity. So zero gravity is just on the outer corner. Now, if you can't tell by now, I'm trying to go back into like different palettes and, you know, not just stick with one palette just because, you know, why not try and use all her palettes? All right, so now let's see. Should we add a little bit of color, you guys? Maybe we should. So I'm going to add some cranberry right literally it's called cranberry all right so this is from her berries and cream palette such a nice palette look how the gradient ombre effect the like you know letters that kind of like sticks out embossed letters i believe that's what it's called um all right so in here there's a shade called cranberry we're taking that shade right there and look at that beautiful shade you guys that looks really pretty hopefully the camera picks it up but a close-up can you see that it's probably blurry but um trust me it's beautiful all right so pick up cranberry and I'm going to place that like so on the inner corner and just kind of sweeping it towards the center Okay, so there's cranberry on my eyes. It looks really nice. I think the look is definitely coming together. I'm going to go back in with the zero gravity and literally whatever's left on that brush. I didn't dip into the palette again. Just whatever's left on the brush I used for zero gravity. I'm going to just, you know, go back in and do a little one of these numbers like that. And then... Going back with the first shade and do that right there. I mean, this step is optional. It's just, I feel the need to do this. Why? No real reason. I just want to. All right. So you can leave the look like this, but I feel like I do want to add some more into my look. 
Um, let's see. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to, hmm, add more into my look, but what do I want to do? I'm gonna go into her most recent palette launch. It's her Latte 2 palette, and we have the shade called Frappe. I love the shade Frappe. So Frappe is that shade in the middle right there. I mean, is it called Frappe or Frapp? You know, put some of that Frapp on my eyes. All right, so for this, I really like using my fingers for it. So I'm gonna dip in with my fingers and then hold up a mirror and just literally just stamp the center of my eyes. And then that kind of like brings light at the center of your eyes, right? So if you want to go back in and dip your fingers in again, do so. I'm doing the same thing on the other eye. I'm not pressing hard on it, you guys. I'm just like, I guess stamping it might be like a wrong choice of word. More like gently tapping it. So gently tapping it. Look at that, you guys. I am a genius. Look at that. Light on the center of your eyes makes your eye, boom, bigger. So, not, I didn't invent that, you guys. I'm just, you know. All right, so let me dust off all this stuff on my shirt because uh, so unprofessional. Okay, so I think with the eyes, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm going to, going to, English. I'm going to put on some eyeliner, a little bit of mascara, and um, come right back and we'll continue on with the fades. All right, so I'm back. I have my foundation on and some concealer. I did put on some mascara, my eyeliner, so stuff like that you really can't put on with a eyeshadow. You can set your eyeliner with a nice brown or whatever color eyeshadow you have, um, eyeliner you have with your eyeshadow palette. But anyway, so we're back. And now I'm gonna use one of her palettes to really brighten up the under eye. I'm gonna use the little Tati Blendiful and the mini one and going into her Latte 2 palette, if you look inside, there's a shade called Frothy. It's just that nice shade right there, all right? So the frothy color. I'm gonna use that to set my under eye makeup, so. I'm hoping the camera picks it up, but it really brightens up my face. Look how nice that looks. Look at that. And you can also use it to kind of set the rest of your makeup if you wish. Kind of brighten up your forehead. Let's switch to the bigger Blendiful. All right. And then after you're done, kind of dust off the excess. So that did really shh, brighten up my face. So I do like that a lot. So now we're gonna go in and kind of bronze up and contour, um, contour, bronze up, you know what I mean, our face. So which palette do I wanna use to do that? A nice a bronzer contour color for me would be, um, I'm gonna go into my berries and cream palette and dive into toasted. Toasted is that shade right there. So take that and that will be my bronzer color. You know what? I'm gonna mix in toasted with a little bit of coffee bean. No, maybe a little bit of cafecito, yeah. So I'm gonna take um, toasted and mix it in with some cafecito and that's in the Latte 2 palette. Just kind of mix it together. And then use that to bronze up my face. So far, so good. All right, so the bronzer, or the bronzer, I put it in quotes, because obviously we didn't use a bronzer. We used her palette. So the 
bronzer is on my face looking good i think it looks really nice so now her latest palette that she came out with it has the shade called strawberry milk such a cute color i'm gonna use that as my blush it just looks like a really nice blush color so that shade right there we're gonna take that and blush up our face Blush is looking super cute, super nice. All right, so the blush looks good. Look at how gorgeous that looks. I feel like Domini Cosmetics can make some really nice blushes. They'll probably make some really pretty blushes because that's really pretty. All right, so I like that blush a lot. So now my favorite part, the highlighter. All right, so the highlighter, if you guys don't know already, she does have her own really pretty, amazing highlighter palette. It's the Prisma Glow Palette. And it's pretty cool because, well, A, it comes with a nice, a nice big mirror. Look at that. Look at that mirror right there. Look how big that is, right? But it also comes with four different highlighters. One of which is a more creamier, dewier highlighter. And the other four are like eyeshadow type, you know, powdery highlighters. But they're all super amazing. I mean, look at my palette. It's been generously loved and just shown with tons of affection right so if you want to put on a highlighter go ahead and use this but just to make this video a little bit more fun a little bit more you know you know kind of like different i'm going to use one of her palettes to put on my highlighter and her palettes have a ton of really pretty like highlighter-esque type of shadows if you will like for example her first palette the latte palette these three shades down here um perfect highlighters right let's go into her newest palette and her oh three shades down here i mean that frappe i used it earlier on my eyes is looking pretty good as a highlighter i might use that one even her celestial storm palette it has a nice highlighter shade called solstice let me show you so that shade right there solstice really pretty maybe i'll go in with that one instead her rustic glam palette i mean the options look at that the nice gold color oh beautiful her berries and cream palette i mean it's just never ending her sugar cookie that would be a really nice highlighter even the color next to it i mean the options are endless I think I'm going to go in with the Celestial palette and use that shade called Solstice. I'm going to use that and highlight my face. So one of the nice things about her palettes that I really like is how, how big the pan size are. I mean, this is obviously not an eyeshadow brush. I'm using it as a face brush. You know, you use it on your face to do whatever you want on your face. I mean, I guess you can use it on your eyes if you want, but I use it on my face. So I'm taking this and look at how i mean is it picking it up on camera yeah look at how easily this is placed in that one shadow pan it's like it's meant it's just perfect size you guys it's beautiful all right so diving into that shade and we are going to highlight our face all right that's really pretty I mean, is the camera even doing justice? I don't know. Look. Look at that, you guys. Look how pretty that looks. I wish you guys were here in real life. Um, this is looking gorgeous. That's really pretty. Honestly, I think I discovered my new favorite highlighter. That looks really pretty. I freaking love it. Down my nose. Just kind of highlight all over my face because why not? Right? That looks really pretty. Look at that. Does it show? I don't know. That looks really pretty, you guys. Look at that. Does it show up? Oh, so pretty. So freaking pretty. All right. Okay, so to finish the look off, I'm going to use, of course, one of her line, the Domini Cosmetics Lip Line. So this is her lip gloss. Put that on my lips. I really do love her lip gloss collection. I feel like I'm more of a lip gloss girl than I am 
like a lipstick girl. I do have a bunch of lipsticks, but I mean, a lot of the times I tend to gravitate toward lip glosses, so I just like it a lot. All right, so that is the lip gloss on my face. And did we cover it all, you guys? Eyes, bronzer, highlighter, cheeks, you know, the blush, lips, brows, you guys. All right, I'm pretty much done, you guys. This is the entire face using just the Domini Cosmetics collection and mainly her eyeshadow palettes. So I'm pretty proud of myself. Look at how gorgeous the look turned out. Honestly, I mean, look at this. It's a, a work of art, you guys. So, all right, you guys, here is the final look. I decided to kind of curl crimp my hair a little bit i've been obsessed with that so ignore the hair but here's the final look this is the makeup look using only the domini cosmetics line most of which is just using her eyeshadow palettes i think the look turned out really nice you guys i mean literally it's just a full face of makeup and it looks perfect it looks beautiful i really like it and yeah, so if you like videos like this where I do like kind of like different crazy makeup, I guess this makeup isn't really crazy, but definitely a different makeup, go ahead and give this video a like, give it a thumbs up, you know, comment down below what other videos you want me to do. And by the way, you guys, I am doing a giveaway. The giveaway link will be listed down below and check that video out. It tells you all the rules, the details, and all that nitty gritty good stuff. So if you want to enter that giveaway, go ahead and scroll down. Giveaway link is down below and follow me on my social media at guacamole21. And that is pretty much it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, enjoyed this look. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, a wonderful night, wherever you are. I will talk to you you next time bye guys it's been a day stressing out like crazy just wanna be lazy with my girls it's been a day we gonna get